So one of the things I wanted to talk about is sort of a bonus lesson is digital assets. And so I'm going to do that back in the regular build layout that we uh, were using before. So I'm going to just get over there and then I'll kind of get into a little bit more about what we're talking about here. So I'm currently in the Solaris layout. I'm going to switch back to the build layout and then I'm going to go and select the object level from this drop down right here. You can see we got our couch sitting here. I'm just going to hold the alt key and drag a copy of this off to the side so that I'm not going to mess around with the couch that we're already rendering and stuff like that. I'm just going to turn that off and dive into this couch one uh, node that we made right here. And I'm going to set my display flag here to the couch so we don't have to focus on any of this. In fact, we can just delete all of this extra stuff down here that is associated with creating the blankets and stuff because we're really only going to be focusing on our couch for this part of the lesson. So here we have our couch and what I want to do is discuss a couple problems that I have with the way that this is working right now. The first thing is it's not easily replicable in its current state. So if I wanted to make another couch, I'd have to kind of grab this whole thing, uh, control C and then come over here and say control V. And then I would have another couch that I could, you know, transform and position in a different location in my scene to kind of like create multiple couches. And so, I mean, this isn't, there's nothing wrong with working this way. We've just kind of duplicated our network and created um, two of these large complex networks. You could see if you wanted to make uh, a lot of different couches, your scene could get pretty ugly pretty quickly just due to how many times you're going to have to copy this gigantic node network. So let's not do that. I'm going to just get rid of that. And I want to talk about the other issue that I have with our current setup is that it's not easy to really get at the controls that are important to you. So, for example, if someone's like, make the legs longer, you have to hunt through this network and find where the, the feet are and then, you know, chain, go find the tube and then figure out which parameter on this whole thing you're looking at. And then, oh, it's the height. And then you can adjust that and you're adjusting the height for your legs. And then if you say you want to go and uh, maybe adjust the back, you have to go and hunt through this network and go find the back over here and find the poly extrude and then be adjusting this distance to make have any effect. It would be nice if we could take those really important parts of this and abstract them out into an interface where all the important parameters we want are just kind of centralized in one location. And this is something that digital assets can help us accomplish. What we're going to do is turn this whole thing into a node, just like one of these nodes that we see here. So a lot of the nodes that are actually built into Houdini are digital assets in themselves. Take, for example, this match size node that we've been using quite a bit. If we double click on that, we can dive inside and see that there's actually a larger network in here full of bounding boxes and transforms and switches that are all tied together and they create the smart behavior that we appreciate from the top level of our match size node. And if we look here, all of that functionality has been abstracted into this nice, concise little interface. And so if we jump inside this network, we, we don't have to know what's going on inside here to be able to actually use the node. We can just use this interface. Now, could you imagine if you had to throw down all of these nodes just to get the match size functionality, the like, I don't know, 10 times that we used it in this network? So. That's really where um, HDAs become really powerful. So let's go and create uh, an HDA out of our network here so that we can easily make copies of it and mod modify the way it looks really easily without having to dive through all these different nodes and remember where everything is. 